guys, we're about one here, and today I am doing Konami Fix the Ban List. Now, for you guys who don't know what Konami Fix the Ban List is, Konami Fix the Ban List is a segment on my channel where I talk about cards that I fit that should be banned, limited, unlimited, semi-limited, all that good stuff, and why the reasons essentially behind it. Now, today's episode of Konami Fix the Ban List is going to be a little, a little different, um, because this is kind of like what could what Konami could hit but not really what they should hit because like I've been thinking what Konami what's Konami gonna do to the Metal Foes deck and knowing that they will definitely hit it because it's the best deck of the format they're not gonna be making any more money off it seeing his evasions of vengeance is gonna be the last set they won't make as much money off that set anymore um, the only reason they would make money off that set is because of D barriers and stuff and I've just been thinking, what in Metal Foes could they hit? What possibly could they hit to make the de deck not as good? Because uh, Metal Foes currently is the best deck. It's better than DDD. I, I personally thought it wasn't going to be better than DDD, but I was proven wrong. Um, by myself as well, proven wrong by myself, being many DDDs with the deck. And just knowing that this deck will still be a, one of the top contenders going into next format, even with like a Dolons coming out, with... Zodiac coming out, it means that Konami will most likely hit this deck. Now, the cards that now the two cards that come to mind when I think what could Konami hit to make this deck hard, to to make this deck different and not so not the best, is the first one was Full Metal Force Fusion. Full Metal Force Fusion being a quick play fusion spell, something that, that you could easily hit in the deck. But when I started looking deeper in, another card came to mind. The card that actually allows the deck to have its grind game, that allows it to do all of its good plays, just allows it to keep playing no matter what. And what card is this that you might be thinking? It's Metal Foes Mithrilium. Now you guys are probably thinking, what? Mithrilium? Why Mithrilium? Why would Mithrilium get hit? Like, Mithrilium doesn't need to be hit, but when you think about it, it's actually the best card in the deck. Like... It's better than Full Metal Force Fusion. It's better than all the Metal Force combined. It's better than Alkahis. It's better than Normal Fusion. This card is the main reason why the deck why the deck can keep playing. Think about it. Now, Metal Force, they have a grind game. And why do they have a grind game? Well, they have a grind game because you can shuffle your resources back. And what enables you to shuffle your resources back? Mithrilium. Now for now normal metal first fusion sure that card can re sh recycle itself back as well and give you a plus one but no other card in the deck can do that and the reason you will always have resources for your scales to pop and then set from your deck is cause me metal, metal first mithrilium so what do i think mithrilium should be at i think it should i think they'll put it to one now why could they put it to one you might be thinking now Metal Foes, in general, they play, always summon at least two to three Metal Foes Mithrilium per game. So you're either using your max number or semi-max number. So you will always be using at least two Metal Foes Mithrilium during your whole duel. I've gone into three a few times, not, not, not much, but even still, I know that you will go into at least two Mithrilium. And knowing this means that you will... These, you, you, the main reason you go into Mithrilium is to recycle your resources. So, say we have a Metal Force Fusion, well, a full Metal Force Fusion and a Combination Grave. You have ran out of, you have got all your other resources set and you've got a scale that, and you've got a Bisma gear that you want to pop. Now, if you, if you could, if you didn't have any resources left in deck and you wanted to be able to pop the scale, scale, just so you could be able to get your search during the end phase so you actually have another material to be able to make, say, Alkahist or something, and you can't do that because they're in the graveyard, you could possibly just make a Mithrilium. Mithrilium would then be able to target your own scale with two and two cards in the graveyard, recycle those cards, put the scale back on, then destroy the scale that you wanted to destroy, to then be able to get your card during the end phase. And last, being able to make an Alkahist. Now, that is, that is a commonly first turn combo. Where you... <clears throat> 
Make Mithrilium, get your scale, shuffle cards back, get it back in hand, make your multiple different plays. Um, and it just really, really enables stupid com combos in the deck. Like, Mithrilium is the whole reason the deck has a grind game. It's the main reason it's the best deck of the format right now. Even though we'll be going into a Zodiac format in about a week, a week or so. And knowing that Zodi Mithrilium is the biggest problem in the deck. Like, I play Metal Foes. I, I, I've got it somewhere around here. But I play Metal Foes in tournaments. I know exactly how to play the deck and exactly how to play it right. And I know personally that card, you, you never know, don't summon it. And you just don't... You just know you don't. You you know you have to summon the card. It's the best card in the deck. And knowing that you will be summoning this card regardless, knowing that you're going to be summoning it no matter what, really does make you think, why why wouldn't they hit this card? Like, this is the main problem in Metal Foes. If they hit to one as well, then it will make you want to manage your resources more. And it just really does make sense. To just hit Mithrilium. Because if you hit Mithrilium to 1, then the deck kind of slows down a lot. They have to change the, their play style to um, resource management. where And you'll probably have to put in a third combination as well. Just so you're able to summon Mithrilium back from the graveyard if it's lost. By fusion summoning an Orichalc. So, an Orichalc will then be boosted to 3 as well. Just so you could be like, oh, I have these combos. I can now summon my Mithrilium back. But with... but and if we also if you hit Mephrilium to two to one, then you can't be shuffling back a second one that you've already used in the graveyard to then be able to make another one later game. Which trust me, I've done it before. I've summoned four Mephrilium before. It's it's like uh, it, it does come up summoning the fourth Mephrilium, and it really does make sense. So I really, really do see Mithrilium going to one if Konami want to hit Metal Foes in any way, shape, or form. It's literally the best card to hit in the deck. If you hit that card, then you're basically balancing out the deck completely. And it really does change the play style of the deck because you'll be going into a more resource management zone instead of just do all my re do all my effects, um, be able to have stuff in the graveyard, not be able to shuffle it back because the Mithrilium's used. Plus, you won't want to make Mithrilium turn one anymore. Because then you won't be able to make another one later game to be able to shuffle your resources back as well. So it really does make sense for them to hit Mithrilium. But yeah guys, that's just purely my opinion. Like, if they were to hit anything in the Metal Foes deck, I really do think it would be Mithrilium. If not Mithrilium, then full Metal Foes fusion to one. But I don't see that happening purely because Mithrilium is just the better card in general. Um, remember Construct? Mithrilium's kind of like Construct in that retrospect, you know, they, got, they want to cut off the head. Um, but, you know, I really do see if they hit anything in the Metal First deck, it being Mithrilium, because that will just slow down the deck completely, it will change the play style of the deck, and it will just make it, it will make it probably not tier 1 anymore, but a tier 2 deck, because it will still be a very good deck, of course, but it won't be as powerful as it is now. But, yeah, guys, that's purely my opinion. Um, if they were to hit Metal First Mithrilium, it would obviously balance out the deck. Um, tell me what you think of this opinion of mine. Do you think Do you think Konami would hit Mithrilium to one? Do you think Mithrilium would be banned? What Do you think they would hit something else in the Metal First deck to make it balanced? Just so you know, they can bring the formats together and just make Metal First power creep even more. Like, I can still see Metal Foes being a great deck during the Genishi format anyway. Like, I could see, like, I could see Genishi Metal Foes coming into play. I believe people have already started playing it, testing it. Um, but, yeah, guys, that's my pure opinion on this, on this matter. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Um, do you think it will be banned? Do you think it will be limited? Do you think they'll hit something else in the Metal Foes deck? Tell me all of your comments in the comment section below. And remember, please like, comment, and subscribe press the notification button as well because i'll give you a shout out in the next video if you do and you also have to tell me in the comment section below if you're doing that and yeah guys uh thanks for watching i hope to see you guys in the next video and row about one signing out thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video for more Yu Gi Oh videos and check out the links in the description for the previous video and the link to my Facebook page where you can see previous videos that I've posted there and any other information that I may have posted there. I hope to see you guys next time and thanks for watching.